No. What? Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hey, what's up? If not, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. But today's video, I am doing a review on the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Mafira Oil Collection. So I have all of the products right here. And this video is definitely inspired by my girl, Casey Aaliyah here on YouTube. So if you guys want to check her out, I will leave her link down below. But I was watching her video and I seen that this line came out with two new products. They came out with the Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk and they also came out with a Max Hold Gel and I had to get my hands on both of these products because I already do love this line so when I seen this line come out with two new products I was like your girl is jumping on that ASAP Rocky. Alright so first off Shea Moisture is a brand that I never really got into because first of all the price point in Toronto they're just they were just mad expensive and second of all there's just so many freaking products and collections I just never knew which products would work for me or which products I want to try out just because there were just so many but when I seen this line it actually drove me to it just because it said that it's an intensive hydration line and it's good for dry and damaged hair and I have really really dry hair so I was like this might be the line for me and I'm so happy that I tried it out because I absolutely love this line specifically the deep conditioner and the conditioner is lit so first off I did go in with the intensive hydration shampoo and I did put it throughout my scalp but I also put it throughout the length of my hair just because it had gel in it and I really wanted all the gel to come out so I can give these products a fair chance and it's just like a regular shampoo I don't really hype up shampoos because all I wanted to do is you know cleanse my hair and I'm good to go the only time I've ever hyped up a shampoo is when Cream of Nature came out with their intensive hydration shampoo and that set it off that hit it off for me because at that time which was like back in the day we were only used to shampoos that were really drying for our hair so when that came out I was like that ish is the bomb but you know now most shampoos are meant to keep your hair hydrated at the same time and that did that for me it's hydrating it suds up which i do like but there's really nothing special about it it's just a shampoo so next i went in with the intensive hydration hair mask and this stuff right here is the bomb diggity this is what drew me to this line in the first place so literally after shampooing i divided my hair into two sections like i usually do and then i just slap this on i really focused on the ends of my hair because that's the oldest part of my hair and this right here is gonna make your hair feel so super soft as soon as you put it in. As you can see, when I put it on my hair, it just literally like soaked in and melted in my hair. And that's how you know like a deep conditioner is really working for you. If it's just sitting on top of your hair, that's how you know it's not really penetrating. But this just soaked all in my hair and it felt so amazing. There was so much slip and it just made detangling so easy. And I already had like five uses of this product and I have a lot left to go. I would say I have a little less than half to go and I probably get maybe about three to four more uses out of it so I can say that when it comes to Shea Moisture's deep conditioners and their hair mask that they go a long way so with this a little goes a long way you don't really need a lot but it will do so much for your hair so I'm absolutely in love with this and if you have dry or frizzy hair I recommend this product because it's gonna make your hair feel amazing so next I went in with the intensive hydration conditioner and this time I only used it as like a leave-in and I do that with all my conditioners just because it just works for my hair if I don't have any product in it before I apply my styling products, it won't really work out for me. And I've actually went to a hair salon and they said that it's good for curly hair girls to, you know, leave a bit of conditioner in their hair. It just makes it more manageable, easy to detangle and all that. And I really do like this conditioner a lot. So pretty much with this, I just put a few, you know, pumps in my hand and then I put it throughout my hair. And this really made my hair super soft and manageable. But on other days, I do use this as a regular co-wash and it does really well for me. The only thing I do not like about this product is the pump. I don't like conditioners that come with a pump just because I don't get enough out. I need a lot of conditioner. So I literally just take the top off and put it into my hand just like this and um put it throughout my hair. So onto the two products that I was most excited about because these are the two new additions to the family or to the collection. So the first is the intensive hydration leave-in milk and 
I can say that I really do like this stuff. It is so, so thick. So I don't think that I would consider this a milk at all. It's so thick, it's crazy. It's honestly like one of their smoothies that they have. Um, as you can see, when I was putting it in my hand, it was like, I had to shake the bottle. It was hard to come out. And the consistency is very much like a smoothie, not a hair milk. Hair milks are usually more watery. So I applied this how I apply my regular wash and goes. I just parted my hair down the middle and then I had two, you know, sections to work with. And then I parted those sections into smaller sections. So I had about four sections on each side. So pretty much every small part or every small section, I would apply some of the hair milk and how my hair felt was amazing like i can't deny that this gave my hair a lot of slip it also felt super super moisturizing it was because it's so thick you just feel like you're applying honestly like a deep conditioner on your hair so this is like amazing for girls who have very dry hair which is me this would be perfect before applying you know your gel or your styler um, for your wash and goes but it also be great for braid outs or twist outs anything that you need some moisture this will be the product and i was actually very surprised because usually hair milks they don't do anything for my hair but because this is so thick it really works and i can't really say that it, it made my curls pop because i don't even think that is what it's for or what it's meant to do but it made my hair moisturize and I, I like that property about it. But what I don't like about it is how small this bottle is. I feel like it should be up there with the conditioner size. Like this bottle is super small. I only used it one time and I could say that I'm almost halfway through it already. And another thing again is this cap. Like what's the point of having this cap when the product is so thick? When I was applying this to my hair, I had to keep shaking the bottle, shaking the bottle and it still wouldn't come out. Like. I'm even shaking it and still not even, you know, to the front. Like, it, this actually hurt my hand when I had to do it. So I ended up taking out the cap and just putting it in my hand like I did with the conditioner. And that worked for me perfectly. But yeah, if you have dry hair, I definitely recommend to try this out. Okay, so on to the product that I think I was the most excited about because I'm always looking for a gel or something that's going to make my washing goals last because my hair frizzes so freaking easy. It's ridiculous. Like... It's crazy. So I'm always looking for a gel or something that is gonna make my curls just last and you know, just really hold my curls together. So when this said Max Hold Gel, I was actually excited. Some people are not really excited about that, but I was. So pretty much with this product, all I did was layer it on top of the leave-in milk and immediately, as soon as I put it on, I was like, what is happening? I felt like my hair froze in time. As soon as I put it on, I lost all my slip. I couldn't really detangle with it. I didn't try to detangle with it, but I wouldn't try because my hair literally froze in time. Like it kind of got hard, which is what I mean. Um, and there was no slip. I was just like, what is going on here? And it kind of it kind of felt dry, it really did. I was like, what the hell am I gonna do now? But I just continued putting it throughout my hair. I couldn't really tell if it was defining my curls or not. All I knew was that it was a feeling that I really never felt before, putting a product on my hair. It was just really different. So I did take a good amount on each section and I just smoothed that throughout my hair, smoothed it, raked it, did the hand praying method, which is what I do with all of my wash and goes. And I did that to each section. Um, and I can say that I wasn't really impressed. I couldn't really see how my hair looked, but I just knew how it felt. And I'm like, this is not gonna work out for me. But like I do with all of my wash and goes, I always mix the cream and the gel together or the, you know, the moisturizer and the gel together. So that's what I did. I ended up mixing these together. So I ended up putting, you know, a few pumps of this in my hand. And then I also put a little bit of this in my hand and a little bit of water. And then I put that throughout each section as well. And that is when I seen and felt the difference. The slip came back. I was able to detangle. My hair felt soft again and my hair felt moisturized. And I also felt like the frizz went down and I was like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So my curls were starting to pop now and I was like, okay, so I might actually get a good wash and go out of this. So when I came out of the shower, I looked in the mirror and I was like, okay, like my hair doesn't have a lot of frizz. My curls are actually popping. They look real good. So this is, this is going to work out for me. So after that, I just applied a satin scarf and I let my hair air dry. And to my surprise, this is how my hair came out. It is all air dried and I'm really loving the results of my hair. My hair is soft. It did leave a little bit of a crunch. 
and I still do have a crunch on some of the parts but it's not bad at all like I can probably crunch it out with an oil or something I feel like this is gonna last me a few days before I have to do it all over again I'm loving the definition I do have like little ringlets in certain areas I don't know if you guys can see that especially look at this Ooh cute right i can say though in some areas i think where i apply like way too much and didn't really work it in i do have a little bit of like white stuff but that also can be um leftover gel but i don't think it is i feel like it might be these products um but it's not bad at all not bad at all I okay guys so i have to quickly come back on here and give you another update so this is day two or day three with my hair um with the shea moisture products in it well specifically the leave-in and the extra hold gel or whatever um still love the leave-in but this gel is turning me all the way off all the way off like my curls are popping like they are popping like the definition is there it's totally there but this flakage, this flaking is disgusting. And the more I'm like playing with my hair and shaking my hair and getting myself some volume and stuff, the more I'm seeing these flakes. It's it's really, really bad. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Bruh, what the frick is this? That is disgusting. No. All over my phone. I can't do this. I really can't. So yeah, this product is a no for me. I love the rest of the line, but this max hold gel is a freaking no is no <laughs> it's a no